on Strike It Lucky Tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Marvel to modern techniques with a stereo television. Have fun in the sun with two weeks in Ibiza. Or hear your favourite music as never before with a new CD system. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Thank you. Thank you very much today. Thank you. What? What am I? Oh, sorted out. How are you? You all right, Ruth? Yes, fine, thank nice you. Nice to meet fine. you. And Beryl? Yes, thank How are you? You OK? Well, nice you. to meet you. And it, what's the relationship? My daughter. Oh, nice to meet your daughter. <laughs> what, Mum, what, what do you do? I'm retired. You're retired? Yes. What, yeah, did... what did I do before? Yeah. Well, I was supervisor of a computer section, which is the pre-runner of the computers. Lovely. And what about you, Ruth? I'm a home care organiser. Oxfordshire County Council. The social, they do the social, social services. Oh, very yes. nice. So you yes. kept busy all the time? Very, very busy. And do a lot of good work? Yes. You, yes. Uh, Within a limited budget, yes. Oh. <laughs> you have a nice you. night. Let's walk Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Enjoy your evening. That's it. Hi, Jeff. All right. How are you? All right. Right, Sam. So, you, what, your friends? Yeah. 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 From so, school. Uh, from school? Yeah. 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 So, what, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what do you, uh, what, what, whereabouts you live? Let's, uh, uh, let's find out. Ealing, in West London. And you, Shad? Same. So, you, you got any hobbies? Yeah. Uh, mine's swimming, cycling, a bit of five-side football. Five-side yeah. you like, do you? Yeah. And what about you, Shad? Yeah. Well, I do a bit of rapping on the side. A bit know? of rapping? Yeah. Parcels? <laughs> 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 so, uh, you got, do you do any rapping yourself? Of course. Oh, you do? Yeah. Want to do one for us? Sure. All right. Okay. Off you go. Do you need a beat in or you just got to go? For no, it? I'll just go. Okay, all right, Jeff. I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying out of this one. Staying out of it. All right, Jeff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, son. Right. For those that don't know me, let me introduce myself, Shad Rock. I'm the pole with juice. Got my lyrics going out all over the nation. Doing much damage on your TV station. So if you're sitting at home and thinking, where could he be? You can see me direct on Strike It Lucky. Oh. <laughs> yes. Well done, lads. <laughs> Oh, well, I see a couple of well, that's very, very well versed and we're all put together. Nice to see you, Sheila. And hi, Andrew. Hello. How are yeah. you? Sorry about the delay. We're here at last. Yes. Shad was doing a bit of his rapping. Very good, wasn't it? <laughs> very good. And uh, you married the two of you? Yes. Yeah, and whereabouts are you from? From Aberdeen in Scotland. Aberdeen, we are. It's our first Scottish couple down there. Oh, you've been nice out of the well, Make you feel at home. Yeah. There we are. We have the pleasure of going there for our holidays and things like that, and you live there. Very yes. nice. And Sheila, what do you do? I've just returned to nursing. Uh, returned to nursing? Yes, after having our two children. Been You've away had, had a couple of children, have you? Yes. Uh, how old are the children? Um, Stuart's seven. Seven? And Julian's four. Oh, very nice. So yes. there's no more. Is that it? And That's, yeah. it. That's, That's it. That's enough to cope with, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, you, you sit there in a wheelchair and uh, you can't, you don't, you don't mind me saying you look very old. No. And uh, would you have an accident or something yes, like that? Yes, I had a, a hill walking accident uh, 24 years ago. 24 years ago? Yes, so yes. How, old you, how old were you then? I was in four, um, 18. <laughs> 18, <laughs> 18 years? Yes. 18 when you had your accident? Yes. You're, sort of, you're younger than the lad here? That's right, yes. And uh, you, that, that, well, that paralysed you at the time, That's right, it? that's right. And how have you, well, apart from the obvious traumas, so how have you coped with it since? Well, pretty well, I think, you know. Did you meet him in the hospital? Is that how you met? Yes, I have. Oh, so what attracted you to him? I'll tell you it was his good looks, but don't let him hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's no doubt he's very good looking. There's no, yeah. there's no doubt. I think he knows that. He's got that... <laughs> got that canny smile, I see. You know, without dwelling on everything, without going over through it, I mean, it's the, obviously, there's always something funny after the event that's happened because of the obvious reason. Anything for you, Andrew, at all that's happened? We had an interesting uh, time in honeymoon. We honeymooned in Jersey, and uh, we were getting ready at night clean our teeth and things. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I sat in the bed. In a state of shock. Yeah. I know, he's she, so she was there as well. <laughs> <laughs> she was there as well, in a state of shock. <laughs> oh, um, God, oh, carry on. Oh, yeah. good. It's a beefy bit. Go on. Yeah. You're a nurse. You should be used to these things. So anyway, I sat in the bed, yeah. and it broke in two. <laughs> 
Which it's was, like you can't win, isn't yeah, it? Well, it is. Yeah. But we, we put up with that. And uh, in the morning, we went across to the restaurant to have our breakfast and, and watched and, uh, as the maids went into the room to change the sheets and what have you. And uh, it was quite amusing when they came out giggling. Of course, they knew we were a honeymoon couple and found this big bed broken into it. <laughs> But I didn't have a clue what happened then. No, no. no. Neither did I at the time. Oh, neither did you? Yeah. Oh, so they made their own story up. Yeah, well, lovely course. to have you on the show. Thank Enjoy you yourself in the evening, Andrew Cena. All the best. Thanks, give a nice round of applause. Welcome to the show. Here we go. All right, OK. You toss the coin over onto the side. It's going first. So if the couples would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give a nice round of applause. Bit of encouragement. Here we go. Good luck. All right. Good luck, Sheila. Good luck, Beryl. Good luck, Shad. Good luck, Andrew. All right, OK? Hello, hello. Right, the first category is songwriters for you, Beryl. Two, three or four, songwriters. Two, please. For your first move, who wrote the following songs? Can't Buy Me Love. Cole Porter. Cole Porter is wrong, I'm afraid. Uh, Can't Buy Me Love, Shad. Lennon and McCartney. Uh, Bridge Over Trouble Water. Cole Porter. No, the lady said that already, so that would have... Uh... Oh, no, we are on the next question, sorry. Uh, chance for you now, Andrew, you can take the first two moves. Who wrote... To bridge over troubled water. Paul Simon. That's right, two moves are yours. OK. Ooh. Oh, we've had a couple of shows start like this right at the bottom, but there you never know how it's going to turn out. It's right the screen, let's see what you've got. A CD system. Do you want to bank that or is there nothing on the next bank. screen? What do you want to do? Bank it. Uh, bank it? Yes. OK, they're banking it, they're taking the CD system. All right, we go on to the next category, which is South America. For you, Beryl, South America. Two, three, or four? Two. Two. For your first move, La Paz is the capital of... Bolivia. Is right. And Lake Titicaca is situated here. Chile. Chile's wrong, I'm afraid, Beryl. Shad, do you know... Peru. Eh? Hey? Peru's Peru. right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> ah, we're going up in reverse today. <laughs> right, Jeffrey. Let's go, Sam. A video recorder. Do you want to bank that or is this going to be on the next screen? A video recorder. <laughs> You want to move on? Yeah, move on, move Ooh. on. <laughs> cool lads, eh? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, Jim. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a tumble dry... <laughs> <laughs> and a video recorder. <laughs> I said tumble dry, went... <laughs> <laughs> he knows what it is, all right. OK, we're going to the next category, which is boys in books for you, Andrew. Boys in books, two, three or four? Three, please. Ian Fleming created this macho star. James Bond. J.M. Barry wrote of this lad who refused to grow up. Peter Pan. Leslie Charteris created this noble character. The Saint. That's right, three moves are yours. All right. Ooh. Oh, he's getting some mileage on here. OK, swipe the screen. A greenhouse. Do you want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? What do you want to do? Do you want to bank it or is... What are you doing? Go on. Well, go on okay, go the only trouble is if there's a hot spot, you'll yeah, lose it. Yeah, I know, but. We'll all go right on. then, that's yeah. up to you, that's the game. Go on, do you want me to do it for you? Please. Yeah, all right, turn that way. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, do you want to bank those two or go on to the next one? Sailing lessons, yeah. yes? Sailing lessons in a greenhouse. Do you want to bank them or do you want to go on to the next yeah. one? Yeah. All right, you keep those two prizes. Well done. All right, here we go. Go on to the next category. Now, with you, Beryl, it's comics. Two, three or four. Comics as in comedians. Two. Two. He had a hit record with Don't Laugh At Me Cos I'm A Fool. Uh, Norman Wisdom. Norman Wisdom's right. Just before World War II, this North Country ukulele player was a top box office attraction. George Foreman. That's right. Two moves are yours. Here we go. <laughs> ah, our last roof. Yes. All right, there's a slight delay, but we got here. Right, Have thank you. Have you got the screen? Stereo TV, do you want to bank that or is there something on the next screen? Bank it. Yeah, you want to bank it? Bank it. OK, the TV's yours. Everybody's banking tonight. All right. We go on to the next category, which is red. For you, Shad, red is uh, the category. Two, yeah. three or four? I'll take two. Two, all right. All answers involve the colour red. Mars is known as this. Mars... Red planet. And British paratroopers are called this. Red berets. Uh, that's right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> All right. Bonjour, madame. He's <laughs> coming. Oh, oh. That's it. Desire a dressing gown. <laughs> 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 right. All right. Let's try the screen. 
100 pounds. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Well done. All right, we go on to the next category. With, with you now, Andrew, it's jazz. Two, three, or four. How are you on jazz? Two, please. Two, all right. Obviously, not too good. No, Jim. <laughs> Diana Ross played her in Lady Sings the Blues. Billy Holiday. And she had a hit with Billy Eckstein with Passing Strangers. Sarah Vaughan. That's right, two moves. Well done. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Off you go, Sheila. I've got a funny feeling I know what's in here. There. Yeah, I knew it. I thought it was a long way before that one came. Okay, are you playing the game? Well, back with you now, Beryl. The next category is ripping fun. All the words begin with R-I-P. Two, three or four? Two, please. Right. Or a quick return is called... A repost. Ruffling of the water's surface. A repost. That's right, two moves are yours. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now, there it comes in. Coming okay. from behind now. There we are. Uh, woodworking uh, toolkit. <laughs> you want to back that? Move on, move on, move on. <laughs> uh, I wonder why a lady doesn't want a toolkit. <laughs> oh, never mind. You lose that. You just moved up to a bit more level there. We go on to the next ca category, which is sporting. Uh, what's that say? Trophies. Oh, yeah. Can't read my own writing there. Sporting trophies. I'll have two. You'll yeah. have two. Okay. Yeah, you will if you earn them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Match the sport to the trophy. The Whiteman Cup. Snooker. No. Andrew, do you know what they... The Whiteman Cup? Tennis. And the Calcutta Cup? Rugby Union. Uh, two moves are yours. There we go. <laughs> OK, Sheila, strike the screen. There we go. A pheasant dinner for two. <laughs> yes. I uh, wouldn't mind... No, I'd, I'd ignore that if I were you. <laughs> well, I lose much, are you? Thank goodness that's gone. <laughs> I'll make that up to you later. There we are. <laughs> All right, we go on to the next category, which is in and around Spain for you, Barrel. Barrel? Barrel? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 that is, was, I, I didn't mean I that. Know, I didn't, it was, it was a slip of the. Uh, <laughs> yes. Two, please. <laughs> All right, Barrel. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Two. Barrel. Two. Yes. In and around Spain, what is the bay to the north of Spain called? Biscay. And which of these is an island in the Mediterranean? Ibiza. Ibiza is right. Two moves. There we go. <laughs> Call your mother a barrel. It's not nice, is it, Bruce? No. Tiffany's style lamps. They're a very nice prize. Tiffany's style lamps. Do you want to bang them or are you going on? Go on? All right, you're going on. Trying to catch up with Sheila down there. Strike the screen, Ruth. Oh, oh, you've been a bit <laughs> unlucky there. We've gone to the next category, which is manufacturers for you, Shad. Manufacturers, two, three or four? Two. Two. For your first move, what did Samuel Colt make? Guns. What did Herbert Austin manufacture? Cos. That's right, two moves. Well done, young man. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's all these little, mo <laughs> do little moves every time I come over, Jeffrey. Well, learn them off of him, don't I? Hey? Learn them off of him. Learn them off of him. <laughs> sure. Bad influence, that boy. <laughs> <sighs> OK, son. Do what you want. Leather puffet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Move on. You don't want that? Nah. <laughs> You're all right, you know what that yeah. yeah. You know what that is? Yeah. yeah. Alright, you got sort one? Of. Eh? Sort of. What do you mean sort of? Eh? <laughs> Come on now, what are you implying now? What's going on? Alright, off you go, Jeff. A candle is I don't believe this. I don't know. Oh, I don't believe yeah. this. Can't somebody do a bit of research on this show? They're only 19. <laughs> There's not one thing of any use for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on. Back with you now, Andrew. Two questions I've got to ask you. Battles is a category. Which of these battles took place during the American Civil War? Bull Run. Which of these battles took place during the First World War? Well done. Is that a guess? Yeah. No. Well done yourself. There you are. <laughs> uh, come on, strike the screen. Here we go. Come on. Up you come. A weekend in Holland. Do you want to bank that, or is this nothing on the next screen? Are you going to go on? Be careful, cos I'm just giving you... <laughs> 200 now! <laughs> Goodness for that. <laughs> You'll be throwing the knife at me, like that. Oh. oh, my God. 
Well, sometimes three are in one of the rows, you see. You can't... Well, anyway, that's up to you. But we're going to find out whether they're going to bank those two prizes or answer the main strike at Lucky Question in a couple of minutes' time. See you then. Oh, we're the lads. <laughs> Indeed. Welcome back to part two of Strike It Lucky. Now, the situation we have, we've got uh, Ruth is up the top there, just over the halfway mark, and we've got Jeff just in front of her and just in front of Jeff down here. We've got Sheila and uh, Andrew's over there, her husband. You've got to make your mind up. There's £200 a weekend in Holland. There's two prizes. You're going to bank them, they're safe, or you're going to ask, answer the question. What do you want to do? Like answer the question. You're going to answer the question. Yeah. Very much yeah. All right. OK, Andrew. Yeah. All right, here we are. I'll read you the question like we do on every other show. Confer it as loud as you like. I'll ask you the question again, and then I must have an answer. The very best of luck for a chance in tonight's final. The Romans struck it lucky when they discovered the spa waters at Bath. On which major river does Bath stand? Even. 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 The Even. The River Avon. You're going on to tonight. Go back to your husband, Sheila. There we are. Down you come. Well done, young man. There we are, Ruth. Well done. All right, go back there with your mum. All right, there we are. OK, well done indeed. Well Thank done, you. OK. All right, let's tell you what you're going to take away with you tonight. Shad and Jeff, you're taking away with you a video, video recorder, a tumble dryer, a candlelit dinner, <laughs> a dressing yeah. gown, a leather puffet, and a hundred pounds. So you had a nice night with us, yeah, lads, yeah, and definitely. thanks for the entertainment. Well done. Yeah. 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 Well done, young man. And Beryl and Ruth. Well, you're going to take away with you tonight a stereo television, OK? Yes, so you. you did very well then. Yes. Thanks for all the entertainment. Each and every one of you will take away with you a copy of the game so you can play it at home. And let's come down now to you. Sheila and Andrew, you've already won a CD system, a greenhouse, sailing lessons, a weekend in Holland, £200. Now a chance to go for the jackpot. Let's give them all a nice round of applause if you like to go and make your way around there. Andrew, should you come first? Down here, and Andrew, if you like to make your way through. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Sheila, you like to stand here, and Andrew, that's it. Really round there. That's wonderful. All right, you back yourself up. OK, here's how we're going to play the end game. You play the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, be true or false, give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. For a correct answer, you gain another move. Go for our top money of £3,000, no more than two hotspots, 2003 a 1000 no more than four. If you go for our top money, you fail to get right away, of course, we give you £300 for every successful move you make. The prizes you've won, they're safe. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. So, 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 pounds? They go for the three. That's just in the best of luck. OK, Shirley, you'd like to come back down there? You want me to take you round backwards? Yeah, that's it. All right, OK. There Oops. you are. OK, that's it. Oh. Brilliant parking, look like that. Well done. All right, OK, we're all in our place. We're ready to go. For your first 300 pounds, top, middle, or bottom, where do you want to go? Go for the top one? Yeah. You have the top one for the first 300. Oh, what a lousy start. OK, over you come, Sheila and Andrew. Just a little bit more, that's lovely. OK, and I'm going to come behind you, Andy. Just make sure we're safe. We'll do it this way now. Top, middle or bottom for your next uh, 300? For your first 300? Top, middle or bottom? Top. Top one for the first 300? Oh, don't believe this. <laughs> All right, let's go up to the next one. OK, that's far enough. You come there. OK, now, we can't have any hotspots. This is disastrous. I know, yeah. I know yes. <laughs> All right. £300, top, middle or bottom? Where are you going to go? Middle, please. Where's the bump top again? Huh? Can you go to the top again? Can you stay along that line? It's up to... OK. Yeah. All right. Middle, please. All right, no, OK, you're going to go for the middle one for the first... Come on, please. Oh, there you go. That's it. £300, we're off. All right, for £600, top, middle or bottom, where are you going? Top, middle or bottom? Bottom. The bottom one for £600, come on. Oh, it's a question. OK, well, you definitely won't see these. I'm behind you. Right. <laughs> OK, here we go. Here's your first question. The month of January is named after the Roman god Janus. True or false? Discuss it if you wanted to. I think that's true. true. 
That's right, six, there we go. £600, right there now. OK, for £900, £900. Top, middle or bottom, for 900 And you go. Top, please. Come. Where are you going? Top, please. Top. The top one for 900 come along, play the... Oh, it's another question. OK. A ketch is a sailing vessel with two masts. True or false? A ketch is a sailing vessel with two masts. Is that true or false? So just one more time, I give you the catch is a sailing vessel with two masts. Is that true or false? Could you ask us after our sailing lessons? <laughs> after your sailing lessons, what do you? True. True is right. Nine hundred pounds. Well done. You're on your way. Okay, I'll just come in here and wiggle around you there. All right. Okay, we're on the downhill slope now. If you forgive the pun, here we go. Right for one thousand two hundred pounds. Top, middle, or bottom? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Middle. Hey. Middle. The middle one for twelve hundred. Yeah. Yes, here we go. Over you come. For £1,500, top, middle or bottom? Where do you want to go? £1,500. Top, please. Top. The top one for £1,500? Oh, it's another question. Oh, I can't believe this show. All right, here we go for your true or false question. The Beaufort scale is used to weigh gold. True or false? False. False. That's right. Wind speed. There you go. 50. Well done. Over you come. OK, for £1,800, top, middle or bottom? <laughs> top. The top one again for £1,800. <laughs> oh, I don't bear this show tonight. OK. The Arctic turn is a famous acrobatic manoeuvre. <laughs> is that true or false? False. That's a bird. That's 1800. Well done. I don't believe this. Okay. For 2,100 pounds. Top. It's amazing because you, you lost your hotspots. I mean, 2,100. Oh, Where are you going? Oh, the bottom one for 2,000. Come on. Oh, oh holy Mary, mother of God. <laughs> All right, OK, here we go. Actor David Jason appeared with Ronnie Barker in the comedy series Open All Hours. Is that true or false? True. Yes! yes! 2001! I don't believe it! Come on! Yes. Right. OK, now you can't, it's very rarely this happens, to get the two hotspots right at the beginning and then come all this way across. To get this far is great. You've got all the prizes, you've got 2,100, whatever happens, all right? OK. This is for the jackpot. For 3,000, we jump straight the way up. It's either the top, it's the middle, or the bottom. If you get a hotspot, you're out. And if you get a question, you've got to get it right. Bottom. Right, where are we going to go? Bottom. Yes? Yeah, bottom. They're going for the bottom one, please. Come on. Yeah! yeah! Oh, All right. Oh, well done. Come on. Well done. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, do yourself proud. Well, brilliant. Absolutely. Come up here. Come up here. Yeah, this way. Let's have a look at the monitors. Let's see what they all were. Oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Oh. Absolutely incredible. And let's tell you what you've won. You won a CD system, a greenhouse, sailing lessons, a weekend in Holland, the money you won earlier, £3,200, and you come all the way from Scotland. I think you've got enough to get back with. That's it. That's all we've got time for. Right, good night. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>